Uh, my name is Oma Lava for all those that wanna know Got a YouTube stepping insta that I named the Omo Show Where I clearly spit the flow, show you around the life I chose So at me if you wanna see how far the story goes Peace family, welcome to the Omo Show I'm Omo, the Afrocentric creatrix Here to raise the vibrations of the entire black nation Yesterday I told y'all that I was gonna do a video on why I don't support Planned Parenthood But I really just wanna talk about why I don't support Healthcare in general, doctors, why I don't trust them, why I don't trust Planned Parenthood, that goes along with it. Um, few points. One, okay, let me just start off by saying this. Most of us are aware that there is history that has been lost in the past, and everything that we're pretty much hearing today about history could be somebody's biased opinion. So, I'm very understanding of that. I just want y'all to know that I'm not saying by any means this is complete fact. I'm just saying that this is the rumors or this is how history has transpired and how it's been brought to my attention in recent years. When it comes to Planned Parenthood, it is said, some people know, some people don't, that the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, was... A racist woman who believed that, and I'm not going to necessarily call her a racist, but she believed that blacks and different people of color were racist. They were like human weeds that needed to be exterminated or whatever. Like these are supposedly her words. It is a picture of her actually talking to uh, members of the Ku Klux Klan. Which, if you actually uh, research that information, you find out that it was like a woman uh, sector of the Ku Klux Klan that she was talking to. And the way that Planned Parenthood and supporters of Planned Parenthood like to try to mask that over is by saying that uh, Margaret Sanger didn't necessarily want to talk to that group, but she was open to talking to every group to spread her ideas. She was a eugenics, and if anybody knows anything about eugenics... She was a believer that um, the superior races or the superior people uh, should be the ones that are reproducing children versus those who have the poor circumstances. If you look on Planned Parenthood or anything that supports Planned Parenthood, they're going to say that she didn't outwardly say, yo, we need to exterminate these black people. But yes, she was a supporter of eugenics, but they do admit that, but they don't necessarily say that she was here trying to get rid of black babies and children. Two different statistics when it comes to where Planned Parenthoods are located, their abortion services. One statistic that I found showed that there are 79% of uh, Planned Parenthood services that are located within black and brown communities. And another one that I saw shows that there are 60% within white communities. So we can know that one is a supporter of Planned Parenthood, the other one isn't. So like I'm saying, it's a toss up within the information. But one thing we do know and she was in a picture with Ku Klux Klan. That's something that they can't make up. I've seen the picture for myself. And um, let's move on. Uh, as far as the healthcare system in general, every, not everybody, everybody doesn't know this. And if you didn't know this, there has historically been evidence and proven to be that doctors were sterilizing black women, meaning they were taking away their ability to reproduce without the black woman's knowledge. She would sign papers or not even sign papers, but it was with the idea of uh, they have the right to do X, Y, and Z when they believe that a person was not fit to be a mother. They would take a woman's circumstances, whether she was black and poor or whether she was just black, whether she was just poor or whatever the case may be, and the woman could wake up and have her tubes tied or be sterilized in ways that she didn't want to be, taking away her 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 option to have children for the rest of her life. You know, when she thought she was going in for surgery for this, she comes out and don't even have her um ovaries anymore. You you understand what I'm saying? And for me, I guess what I'm trying to say, I'm gonna put these two different pieces of information together now. 
I know historically this is what the healthcare system has done to black women. We talk about black reproduction all the time, women's reproduction, black women's reproduction and reproductive health and reproductive justice all the time within my field, which is psychology and African-American studies. I also study kind of women's studies a little bit. Um, and it, it comes up. It has come up many times. Um, I've, I've read many historical uh, artifacts of women talking about this experience. And I've seen many videos of women talking about this experience. And this was just in the 50s and the 60s that it happened to them. You understand? And the healthcare system did do that to them. I don't separate Margaret Sanger. I don't separate Planned Parenthood from the rest of American government, a rest of American health care, a rest like I don't set it aside from everything else that America has ever thought and has done towards black people. Am I saying that Margaret Sanger was this X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah for sure? No, I'm not. But what I am saying is this at this point in my life. Because of history, because of what I've heard and what I've seen and what I know about the system, about America, about their uh, lack of consideration, lack of compassion for my people and us, especially around giving birth, them making decisions on behalf of us without our knowledge. I just don't trust them, period. There is no way that I will ever trust them. There is no way that I will ever trust Planned Parenthood because at the end of the day, whether, whether or not it's true or false that she wanted to exterminate black and brown people, people believe that she does. And at the end of the day, that means that new systems need to be built. I have met black women who work for Planned Parenthood, you know, and when they would ask me if I want to donate money to the cause and I tell them, no, I'm actually good. And I would like educate them on the things that I know they're like, and these are black women. Like I say, they're no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that completely. And I mean, yeah, it's like this rough little rumor thing around uh, our history and stuff. But, you know, we moving past that. We moving past that. And I'm like, no, nah, baby, boo. We not moving past that. Yo, people ain't never going to move past that. We ain't never going to trust y'all. I don't trust y'all. And I'm sorry. Like, because people have this idea of you, that means that something new needs to be built. We can't keep trying to remake things of the past that have any kind of uh, tarnishment on them. Like, any type of bruises or things that could be possibly wrong with it. I'm not going to advocate for those things. I'm into creating new things that I know are built in purity and built with my people in mind. Those things that were not built with my people in mind, I do not trust. So I don't trust the doctors. I, d I don't want to give birth in a hospital. I don't want them to even touch me. And I don't, I don't like them touching me because I don't know what they think they're doing down there. And it's just, it's, it's, it's really sad that it comes to that place where black people got to feel like that when they trying to get checked up or when they trying to just feel better or feel well. But at the end of the day, that's just to say that we need our own hospitals. We need our own doctors. We need our own services. We need our own facilities um, that are going to be solely for the benefit of us. So that way, when we walk into there, we already know what's up. It's not white people who are heading the corporation because I'm sorry, I'm never going to trust that white people actually have my best interest in mind, especially within healthcare when they've shown me through history that they didn't want black babies to exist. And if Margaret Sanger was a eugenics and she believed that the most powerful people should be the ones breeding children, she believed in um, good breeding versus poor breeding, Who's the poor breeding in that time? Who's the poor breeding? I would think that she would think that it's black. You know, not necessarily white. Um, so with that being said, I just am where I am. I know that Margaret Sanger has some supporters of black people, including Martin Luther King, including W.E.B. Du Bois. She has supporters. I'm not going to say she didn't, but I also will say this. We were in a time where we didn't necessarily realize what was going on. We might have thought that her ideas were good or whatever, or that she was trying to make a difference. And then truth comes to light 
as time goes on but we really don't know so please don't dislike this video just because you're saying oh my gosh yeah that's false margaret singer wasn't like that because you support planned parenthood if you can understand why i can't support the american health system in general which has to include planned parenthood given that it was not created by black people then you should understand my point regardless of where it comes from regardless of who is trying to destroy us i'd rather be safe than sorry um on top of that i don't like that planned parenthood is way more committed to getting rid of stds getting rid of babies than actually preventing those things i do not see them in the schools educating people about sexual awareness sexual health i don't see them doing anything but being a service that are available to women after they done already made the mistake that to me doesn't look like preventive care at all it just looks like trying to get rid of a problem that has been made and i don't like that okay um we need to start being more proactive if we actually care about black women and we believe that black women should have rights you know and all this good stuff then we still need to be educating black women on why abortion shouldn't be the first go-to option if you understand what i'm saying because getting rid of life to me at least shouldn't be our first option it shouldn't be the first thing that we decide that we're gonna do but that's usually what we do after we already make the mistake it needs to constantly be an education around sex what happens with sex and why it is important to make sure that we are sexually smart or knowledgeable so that way we won't be in certain positions where we feel like we have to get rid of a baby you know what i'm saying um so yeah that's that's pretty much everything I ain't really got more to say, but it's just that I don't trust these jiggers. I don't trust these jiggers. No, they don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have any questions? Let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I know everybody not gonna agree with me, and that's cool. Whatever. But like I say, this is me. When I go to the hospital, I'm not really. I don't go to the hospital like that. You know, just because. I don't really trust them like that. And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to tell my people to be aware that history does exist and we don't know if that history is over. So let's build something new that is based on a clean history, based on purity, based on our interests, our needs and our wants for ourselves and our nation. If you understand what I'm saying here. All right. Like I say, comment, like, subscribe. Uh leave requests if y'all feel like y'all would like me to do a certain specific video or talk about something in particular and other than that have a beautiful blessed day i love you so much peace love black power all day every day ain't no other way okay